planet. Next on emergency beds. There's nobody around. I couldn't call anybody. Hold on, baby. Owie. To do something different. I thought it was a rock, and I saw that it was a little bunny rabbit. Who did this, man? Didn't they know you were just a little guy? Hey, this dog has another interception. Jeez, why not? Flash is already a familiar face at Alameda East. How you doing, buddy? Four months ago, the Bassett had emergency surgery to correct an intersusception. An intersusception is when one loop of intestine actually telescopes inside another loop of intestine. You say he's vomiting blood? Violent vomiting after his first surgery sped Flash into a second surgery. I started vomiting last night. Today, Flash's signs look disturbingly familiar. I was really hopeful after the last surgery that we had sort of solved everything because he seemed to be doing well for so long. And then to see him in again, you never want to see your patients in again. Ready? Yeah. Today, it's, he's vomited several times, and I'm seeing blood now. That's a big man. That's a big man. Dr. Dan Steinheimer suspects that Flash is suffering the most common complication of an intersusception. Oh, look at that. Another intersusception. Oh, that might be the first time I've seen it be that dramatic. Thanks, Flash. The rigors of surgery present a familiar heartache to Greg Martin and Kim Gonzalez. Uh, emotionally, oh, it just tears you up. You cry a lot. Yeah. You uh, sleep with this stuffed animal because it <laughs> makes you remind you of him and it smells like him. Yeah. It's, it's going to be tough if we have to go through this every three or four months. Braving multiple surgeries is tough. Losing flash forever is unthinkable. Oh, yeah. Fear of a second intersusception has Flash back for his third surgery. Oh, yes, you're very cute. The diagnosis may be deja vu, but the name still eludes owner Gray. Interception, uh, my girlfriend, she's a, uh, a nurse, so she, she talks to these doctors real well. <laughs> I just write the checks. <laughs> All right. They just bounce right back. No time to kill. At one year, Flash should not be old enough to have yeah. old friends. Flash has been with us before. Very sweet boy. Just trying to just swing around. Flash's road to surgery is well worn. Just go straight back. Surgeon Robert Taylor wants to ensure this trip is Flash's last. A little slider. Another intersusception. Well, we're just going to take it out this time. An eight-inch section of Flash's small intestine is telescoped and must be cut out. Well, let's see if um, Dr. Prowse is still here, please. Two intersusceptions in four months is extremely rare. For a rolling, please. Compelling a 29-year veteran to compare notes with the internist. Hey, this dog has another intersusception. Jeez, why not? Yeah, so I'm just gonna take everything out and then just placate all of his bowel, but I don't know what else to I've do. I've never heard of chronic intersusception without some other underlying cause. Yeah, yeah, me too. But I have had one of the cases that was a basset that was kind of like this. To prevent future intersusceptions, the remaining 12 feet of healthy bowel is tacked in place with a series of tiny stitches. Now it's got lots of warm flush, huh? Intersusception is usually a young animal problem. It isn't a primary disease, okay? 
it's like a sign of a disease, and it's either hypermotility or some form of GI irritation. Let's go ahead and sign him up for 0.4 mg per kg. Okay, thank you, you did a nice job. Everyone at Alameda will be keeping a close eye on this repeat customer. Go get it. One month after surgery, Flash's health proves no flash in the pan. He came through it. He's been a strong dog. Back to normal, eating a lot. He can't have any raw hides. The dog's favorite toys are raw hide. But if he keeps him healthy not to have those, that's fine. Ready? Good boy. He'll be all right without treats. Come on, boy, let's go get some water. It's a hot day here in Colorado. Hot days a mile high are excellent preparation for Flash's next adventure. Come on, boy, let's go to Texas. Today, the family moves to the Lone Star State. We're leaving. Though little credit for packing goes to Greg. Well, she did 55 boxes and I packed two. I feel real bad about that, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I gotta clean the garage, yeah. Like, let's pack this truck up and go. You ready to do this thing? <laughs> ready? Jump. Uh. I think they finally got his problem solved. We just had a lot of faith and prayed a lot, and he's gonna be all right. <laughs> he's gonna like it down in Texas.